Hello guys, Shabba Fire here. As you might know, God of, God of War has officially been released. And instead of going over every feature that's new, uh, you have other channels such as GE Quest for that. So what I'm gonna do is go over some of the main stuff. So first, let's start with particles. Look at that. You're now colliding with the floors and stuff like that. So the way I got this to work is you have to use a GPU particle. So that's this right here and it's just a full box around the whole scene and then we have GPU collision shapes and this is just a box you can you have other types such as let me see GPU let's see we have the height field map so if you have a, a whole terrain you could use that one and then those types never use them but they're there so that's that. So I just made this little snow area so you could could like move around. You could see the lighting's all new. And we have a uh, faded lighting. They kind of like um RTX, not really, but good enough. You could see it fades out over here. And apart from that, we have decals. So let me go in here. Add it hiding in the corner. So we can now add a texture, add a normal map, and some ORM and emission. Uh, right now, the it looks like it can't use Altus textures for some reason. So it's just showing the whole texture that I put in here, this one. I don't know why, but I guess that could be updated in the future. And that's about it right there. <laughs> I have a few other scenes. I could walk around here too if you want. So let's do that. And you could look at here. I just grabbed this thing off Google. So I have a back here. And yeah, that's about it for this part. So I have another scene to show off uh Blender's uh demo. I imported this from Blender and uh, it took quite a while to do I had to bake a whole bunch of textures and I could also move around in the scene as well let me show you there were a lot of cool lighting effects and all that uh, you can move around here and it looks really good look at that screen space right there oh, oh, I can't see it oh, can't see it ah. I need to do some clamping with my camera. There's this thing I put on the floor too, as well. The same texture. And yeah. And it has real time lighting. Let me enable it real quick. So I go in my light here. Just had this not running for now. It's just a loop. So it loop indefinitely until I stop it. Until I stop the whole thing. Let's go back here. There you go. And it looks really good. Look at those shadows. Yeah. There's no collision in here, so I could just fly through the walls. I don't want to do that. Ah, there he goes. Look <laughs> at those shadows. So smooth. And yeah. So I have to show you some 2D stuff as well. Let's go into 2D. I'm gonna just go over the tile map. I was messing around with it for a while. So now we have Y sorting and stuff like that. So for example, um I did a video on this already. I did a whole tutorial showing off the features. But I just wanna quickly go over a few other stuff I think I missed. So on the tile map, you now have uh Y sorting. So whatever um items like in here you could tell it tell the tiles what um where their y sorting would start like their y position so you could so i have this set to eight for example and i put it on this piece here so let's run that so that little piece of tile here i could walk around notice i'm behind it here if i go down a little bit i'm on the other side and that's all taking place on one tile set tile map node 
And for the trees here, it's about the same. But this is using um, layers, uh, render layers. The top here, because that's all different tiles, I can't use Y sorting. So Y sorting works best with a single tile. So you would see like a grid of my character if I had it on the trees. So with that, you could go to tile map and tile set. And in the paint options, you could change the Z index for each tile. So for example, on the tree, I have all the, the grass, the leafy parts to be one, and then the base to be zero. You get the idea? <clears throat> Yeah, that's about it. That. Um Yeah, so for now, um that's about it. I just wanted to show those features off. And I guess you guys could watch that video to get a detailed idea of how to use all these options over here. I'll leave that video in my description. Alright guys, have a good one. Like and subscribe. Take care.